For a long time now, we've been looking at series and whether they converge or diverge. But for the most part, with a few exceptions, we haven't been able to find their sums. In fact, we've only been able to find sums for geometric series and telescoping series. But now that we have the tool of Taylor series, we can solve the mystery of what many series converge to. We've seen that the Maclaurin series for arctan x, in other words, the Taylor series centered at zero, is given by this expression. Now let's use that fact to show that this alternating series actually adds up to pi over four, giving a really cool way of estimating the value of pi. If we compare this series and this power series, we see that they're very similar. In fact, we can get this series by plugging in the value of x equals one into the Taylor series for arctan. In other words, arctan of one is given by the sum from n equals zero to infinity, negative one to the n of one to the two n plus one over two n plus one. And since one to any power is just one, this can be written as the sum from zero to infinity, negative one to the n times one over two n plus one. Or if we write it out in terms like here, we get one minus one third plus one fifth minus one seventh and so on, which is exactly the series we're trying to add up. Now, this fact just follows from the fact that arctan of one is equal to pi over four. That's because tangent of pi over four, which is sine of pi over four over cosine of pi over four, is equal to square root of two over two over square root of two over two, which is one. And since tan takes pi over four to one, and pi over four is within the required interval, negative pi over two and pi over two, arctan is gonna take one to pi over four. Now, if you're reading this chart carefully, you may have had one technical concern. The chart says the radius of convergence is one, but plugging in x equals one, we're centered at zero, x equals one's right on the end point of the interval of convergence. So this chart doesn't guarantee convergence to arctan at x equals one, but in fact, both one and negative one are within the interval of convergence. This completes our first example using Taylor series to add up a series. Let's do another one. We've worked for a long time with the alternating harmonic series, one minus one half plus one third minus one fourth plus one fifth and so on. Which of these series does that look the most like? Pause the video for a moment and pick the series that you could use and what x value you could plug in to get exactly this series on the right side. Did you pick ln of one plus x? If we plug in x equals one into the series ln of one plus x, we get that ln of one plus one is equal to one minus a half plus a third minus a fourth, exactly the alternating harmonic series. So our conclusion is the alternating harmonic series converges to exactly the value of ln2. As a decimal, that's 0 0.693147, and so on. There is still the same technical concern. The radius of convergence given here is 1. Since we're centered at 0, plugging in x equals 1 is on the end point of the interval convergence. But in fact, this series converges when x equals 1 to ln2. In this video, we use Taylor series to find a series that adds up to exactly the value pi over four. And we also use Taylor series to find a sum, previously elusive sum, for the alternating harmonic series. Turns out it adds up to exactly ln of two.